Hello, thank you for joining me for an overview of BlackBot grant making. My name is Carly Meek. I'm a technical solutions engineer with BlackBot, and I work with a variety of our different foundation customers on leveraging the power of our grant making solution. So today we're going to walk through our BlackBot grant making solution. And as you all know, the full process of awarding a grant requires us to look at it from a couple different perspectives. So we're going to start today with that applicant experience. So with those individuals or organizations who are coming to you to apply for funding, what that process looks like for them. And that continues through even post award when you need to collect that qualitative or quantitative data in order to track and the impacts and, and measure the success of those grants in your community. So we'll go ahead and switch our hats and we'll take a look at the administrative side of the tool. So what that would look like for your day to day with within the grant making solution, the intake of all those applications, doing that internal due diligence, vetting the applications and starting on that path to making a funding decision. Then we'll switch our hats one last time and we'll take a look at the review process. So what the interface would be for those internal or external stakeholders who need to have visibility into some of this grant information in order to make recommendations and later make those funding decisions. Then we'll wrap up with reporting and just being able to leverage all of the data now that you've stored within the system to talk about the impact that your dollars have made in your community. We're gonna to start today with the online application experience. What we're looking at here is the eligibility quiz. This is an optional feature. And essentially what this will allow you to do is to ask a series of questions in order to make sure that you're only getting qualified applications. All of these questions are completely configurable based on your specific foundation needs. We can also use this here as a branching mechanism. So if you have multiple different applications running, we can ask a question here in order to determine what type of funding this, in, this individual or organization is seeking. Depending on how they respond to that question, we direct them to the appropriate application. Once you make it through the eligibility quiz, you will be brought to an online application. And that can look something like this. So this is our BlackBot branded online application. But your online applications would be fully configured to match your brand, your look and feel. So your logos and colors and fonts. We can embed video or images here. Anything that you need to help orient your applicants to give them more background about the foundation and your work. We like to talk about our uh, applications and really the, the BlockBot grant making solution as a whole as being fully configurable. And this is important as opposed to a customizable solution. With a customizable solution, it will be built to match your current process. But then if you need to make any changes or you need to add a new, uh, a new grant program or grow or change over time, you're really locked in. And in order to make those adjustments, you would have to go back and essentially rescope and rebuild that, that process with a consultant. Where with BlackBot grant making, it's a fully configurable tool. So we'll help you get all set up with your current process and the configuration that meets your needs today. But then if next week, next month, next year, you want to slightly change a question, add a new question, add a whole new application process, you can do that. So the system is fully configurable and flexible and scalable with your, to your current needs. And this is a really, um, a really great feature because that means that the BlackBot grant making solution can be a viable solution for any foundation of any size. So if you're a small, a small foundation and you have one grant process running, you can configure the grant application and the whole system to match your specific needs. So it can be as simple or as robust as you need but then has the capacity to grow and scale with you over time. Within the application itself, we can configure exactly what information you need to collect. These can be combinations of individual or organization information. We can make things required or not. All of these fields would be uniquely configured to match your specific needs. We have the option to turn on things like spell check or word count limits. We can even accommodate for some digital signature information. At the end of the application, they'll be able to review their full application, make any adjustments or changes before going ahead and submitting this application. 
Once the application is submitted, they will get a confirmation email. They'll also be able to access a copy of their application within their grantee portal. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the grantee portal. So through this portal, which would also be branded to match the look and feel of your foundation, we can control all of the information that we're sharing with our applicants. Our applications can, applicants can see all of their submitted applications, anything that's in process. They can even see the status as has been shared with them from the foundation. This is also the place where they will go to see all of their follow-up items. So any interim reports, quarterly progress checks, final reports, contracts, agreements, anything that you need them to complete and submit back to you throughout that funding life cycle can be submitted to them through this portal. They'll be able to see those due dates so that they have visibility into what's expected from them. We can also set up automated reminders sent via email to help remind your grantees of when those different items are due so that you don't have to remember to constantly follow up with your grantees and remind them that their final reports are due. And here's a quick sample of one of our final reports. Just like your online applications, this is fully configurable. So we can share information with them from their original application, which is a really great feature. So I can surface back to them in this follow-up report. This is what you said you were going to achieve with your dollars. Now tell us how you're performing against those metrics. We can fully configure this to have any combination of both qualitative and quantitative information so that you have everything that you need pulled back into the system to start running reports to see the impact of these dollars in the community. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch our hats now and take a look at the administrative side of the solution. So what we're looking at here is our Blackboard grant making solution. And when I first log in, I, I can see a series of dashboards. All of these dashboards are configured for each individual user. These can be charts or tables or graphs. And really what these are meant to do is to help that individual user get to the information they need as quickly as possible. So if I'm the executive director and I just really want to see an overview of how we're tracking year over year, I can have a dashboard that looks something like this. But if I'm the grants administrator and I need to track all of the information, all of the applicants as they're coming in, as well as be able to see what we've approved so far this year, and set up dashboards like this to help me get to that information quickly. All of these dashboards are dynamic, meaning that I can drill down into any of this information that I need to see. So if I'm curious and wanna know what is this 300,000 we've awarded for emergency services grants, if I click on this, I'm gonna open up all of these grants in another window for me so I can see what those grants are. And from here, I can go ahead and open up any of these individual grant requests for more information. I can also export any of these. If I wanted to use this chart in a board presentation or a PowerPoint deck, I can go ahead and export this and use that um, for those external documents. Let's go ahead and open up a grant request. So what we're looking at here is an online grant request record. And for you, this would mirror all of the specific information that you're collecting through your online application. Because the system is fully configurable, all of the fields within the system can be set up to reflect the specific information relevant to your funding programs. This can be information about the types of grants that you award, any approval information, the specific request fields. We also can set up as many different coding fields as we need. These coding fields are a great way to start segmenting and reporting on the types of grants that you're awarding, whether that's based on specific program areas, geographical regions, funding sources. All of these can be specifically aligned with your business practices. I can also go ahead and open up my organization record that's associated with this request. When I do that, I can see a nice overview of this full organization's record. Again, fully configurable. So I can decide what specific information I need to capture and track for each of my organization records. 
We also have embedded tax status verifying. So doing your due diligence is now easier than ever. All I have to do is come up here and hit my tax status verify and I can now search the IRS database to validate that this organization is in good standing and eligible to receive charitable dollars. We have a full audit trail that will timestamp and record every time those different validations have been processed. I can also research on GuideStar if I wanted to do PUF 78 verification. Or I have additional um, external watch lists that I can run if I want to run through OFAC or some other watch list like that, all embedded right within my internal due diligence area within the organization's record. Another nice feature is being able to see that full history with each of my organizations. Because BlackBot grant making has a fully built out CRM system, every one of your requests and organizations and contacts have their own records. All of those records are then linked together so I can see how everything interacts with each other. I can now quickly and easily see that this organization has had eight grant requests with us. I can see how many have been approved or are pending or have been declined. From here, I can interact with any of those grant requests. If we go back to the request record here, I have the same type of information I can see here. Anything about linked payments, follow-up items, reviews, any documents or attachments that are associated with this request, activities, so any touch points or interactions and correspondence associated with this grant request. One of the really nice features is that I can come up here. If I have a question about this grant, I can just click create generate, generate email up here. From here, I can either do an email from a template, which is very useful for things like award or declination communication, or I can do quick email, which will let me send a free text email to this uh, grant recipient or applicant. And then all of these touch points can be stored as activities linked back to this request record. So let's talk a little bit about our reviewer experience. So I can have a series of dashboards created to reflect maybe my internal review stages. These can be configured to match however your review uh, process flows. This is a very simple uh, three-stage review process that I have set up here. So if I come over here and I know that these are all the grants that I need to send off for external review, all I have to do is go ahead and open up all of those grants check for all of these, so now I have 30 items selected, and I can go ahead and assign these to my reviewers. Before I do that, I want to point out some of the other features that we have available here in Batch. A lot of the features that we have available one-off on individual records, we can also do in Batch. Here I can Batch approve or decline. I can change the status and move them through the process. I can generate correspondence if I want to send an email to all of these applicants. I can communicate with them in batch. I can generate award or declination letters or emails. It's also how I can assign my reviewers. Within Blackboard grant making, you can have as many different review stages and corresponding review scoring rubrics that are associated with these stages. Throughout this process, I can go ahead and create it or select any of those different review stages. I can also then assign my different external or internal reviewers. If I have a set group of individuals who always review my grants, if I have a grants committee or a board that always reviews, I can go ahead and predefine those committees so that I can assign those in batch as well. You can set up your due dates, how long your reviewers will have access to the grants, and then upon submitting and assigning these reviews, they will get an email, your reviewers will get an email that say that they have some reviews to complete with a link to the online reviewer portal. That portal will take them to a page that looks something like this. This is our online reviewer portal. So as a reviewer, when I log in, I can see that I have 16 active reviews to complete. I can see nice little thumbnails of each of those reviews down here. From here, I can go ahead and open up any of these reviews if I want to see more information. Within the reviewer portal, you have full control with those different stages to decide exactly what information you need to surface and share with your reviewers at any given stage throughout the process. 
you get to control, because it's so configurable, specifically what information that each reviewer needs to see. This can be background information about the organization that's applied, even some nice history summary information down here. I can see that we've awarded this, this organization two grants for $50,000 in our history. I can see any of the fields from that request record that I need to share. And then I can also configure specific feedback and scoring rubrics. Again, this can be as simple or as robust as needed to accommodate your various different stages. Maybe it's just a quick yes or no, and we just need those reviewers to agree that this looks like a qualified project or not. We can have numeric grades, long text, comment fields, short text fields. We can even set up specific scoring items. So your reviewers can interact with all of these different items in each of these reviews. We even have an area to turn on to allow for some virtual collaboration. If you want your reviewers to be able to communicate with each other and have a conversation about these different grants, we can do that through our discussions portal. We also have an announcements area where you can share administrative information with your different reviewers throughout the process. The reviewer portal is also mobile responsive and device and browser agnostic, meaning that your reviewers can get to this information, interact with this portal wherever they might be, as long as they have a connection to the internet. So once those reviews are submitted, all of this data will be brought back into the BlackBot grant making solution where we can see those reviews stored on each of those request records. I can also have dashboards set up to show me that review information. I can track who has started their reviews and who hasn't. I can see summary information about how the different reviews are averaging. I can see all of the detail from all of those different reviews that have been submitted. All right, so we're going to wrap up today and look at some of the reporting tools that are available. One of the ways that a lot of our customers use, do reporting is through these dashboards. Because these dashboards are fully configurable and unique to each user, they're a really great way to set up all that information that you need to see at any one time. This allows you to use those coding fields to do segmented and specific dashboards, giving you insight into all of those different pieces of information within the system. We also have a full search tool. This will let you search all of those different records that are available within the system. And then we have a more traditional reporting manager. Within the reports manager, because Black by Grant Making has been serving this space for such a long time, we've been able to see the trends over time of the types of reports our customers commonly need. When we turn on the Black by Grant Making system, you'll have access to more than 200 standard reports that come pre-built within the system. In addition to those reports, you also have the ability to create ad hoc reports to accommodate any specific or unique reporting needs. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our overview of BlackBot grant making today. I encourage you to reach out to your account ex executive if you have any questions or to schedule a full tailored demonstration to meet your specific grant making needs. Thank you.